This Mobile Geeks video is powered by ASUS. Nicole Scott here for Mobile Geeks and I'm taking a look at the Nextbit phone. So this is a phone that isn't looking to win a spec war, but it's looking to solve a real world problem and it's starting with storage. So it's the first cloud-based OS. These guys are working with developers in order to kind of grow the OS in a very open way. Now starting with the back, so we have, they're working with a, a professional camera company to make sure that this has a really good camera with two-tone flash. Then we have 13 megapixel. And then right here we have four status LEDs that let you know when it's uploading to the cloud. So now what's interesting about their concept is that the phone intelligently manages your storage and then offloads the application um, backends to the cloud for things that you're not using. So it kind of eliminates the problem of you running out of space. So if we take a look around the system, we have uh, two buttons here, kind of in a volume rocker kind of way. Around the front, we have a glass front. This is just an not working part. I've got my, got my fingerprints all over the mug here. Let's just take that all off. 5.8 inches. It's going to be running a Snapdragon 808 processor, 3 gigabytes of RAM. It's going to have 32 gigabytes of onboard storage, uh, but 100 gigabytes online. And hopefully, this is going to go to unlimited. So the display is 5.2 inches, which I think is absolutely great. We have very thin bezels over here. And it's going to be running an L IPS LCD display at 100, um, 1080p, so full HD. Now the battery capacity is going to be 2,680 milliamp hours, and it's got two speakers here. So it's got the dual front-facing speakers, which is quite interesting. So it's kind of the same concept of HTC's boom sound speakers, but the phone is relatively thin at only 7 millimeters. It weighs in at only 150 grams. We have a USB-C type connector here, and it's gonna have quick charge, which I think is absolutely great. So we've got a slot here for the um, uh, micro SIM, and as well as a power button here at the top or the side. And then around the top here, we have obviously a headphone jack. It's gonna come with LTE as well, and NFC, uh, a fingerprint sensor which I'm not sure where that's going to happen, but that's going to be quite interesting uh, to figure out where they put that. It could be like what we have on uh, the Sony C5 where it's on the side here, which would be actually quite interesting because I'm kind of a fan of that. So this has just been a very quick hands-on with the Nextbit phone. Uh, to find out more, just uh, head on to Kickstarter. Uh, this is called Robin, the Smarter Smartphone, and it's at $830,000. Dollars, so we're we're getting up to a million with a few weeks left on the device. So this has just been a quick look at the next phone, next bit. So you can see down there, next bit, and this is the Robin. I'm Nicole Scott for Mobile Geeks at EFA 2015.